What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here and in this video I want to talk about if the silver spot price increases, will your silver become harder to sell? So let's do it! Thank you so much for watching my video, I do sincerely appreciate it. As always, if you'd like to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you'd just like to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, then make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do post videos at least every other day. Okay, so if the spot price of silver increases, will this make your silver that you've already stacked harder to sell? Now, the reason I'm making this video is actually because I've had a lot of new stackers and new subscribers to my channel uh, ask me this personally. They said, you know, hey, this is one thing I'm worried about. When I buy silver now, I don't really have any problem offloading it. My local coin shop is willing to buy it. I'm stacking, you know, eagles or bars or junk or whatever you're stacking. It, it doesn't really matter. Uh, but they're curious that if the price does increase substantially, especially like it has in the past, you know, will they be able to offload it? Will they still be able to get uh, over spot for their eagles? Will they be able to get at least spot for different pieces? And so that's sort of what I want to cover in this video. Uh, here's a 2020 American Silver Eagle that I recently picked up. Absolutely gorgeous. One of my favorite things to stack. But I'm not talking about what's best to stack or what I stack. Let's talk about selling your silver. Now, the first thing I want to bring up is there's so many factors when we talk about the price of silver going up. It's really hard to smash them all into sort of one thing, right? And be like, okay, well, the price of silver in the future will increase because we'll go into a recession and there'll be much more demand for the safe haven metals like there has been in the past. And that's why its silver price will go up. Um, you know, another reason the price could go up would be more industrial demand, right? Let's say the mining stays the same, but all of a sudden we're using silver in many more products. That could be a reason for the price to go up. Uh, so that would be in a case that the economy is doing very well. Another reason the price of silver could go up would just be simply people are not trusting the fiat currency that the government's providing. They want to store their money, their wealth into something more secure, something tangible, something that has been used as money for thousands of years, right? Maybe we'll have an awakening in the general public. I sort of doubt that will happen, but that obviously could drive more demand into silver and gold as well. So that could be a reason for the price going up. So rather than, you know, talk about all the different factors and okay, let's look at every little one. Uh, let's talk about the most common one, the most likely reason for the spot price of silver increasing. Now in 2011, that's probably, uh, well, it's definitely the most recent time we saw the silver spot price go up and get noticed uh, pretty heavily by the media, right? So that was one factor in 2011. I don't know if you remember, there was lots of commercials about the different companies popping up that we buy gold. You know, there was lots of demand for gold, lots of demand for silver, and lots of new people were flooding into the precious metals market. And uh, back in 2011, we saw the price of silver go up to almost $50 an ounce. And uh, a lot of the reason for that was just because new investors, I suppose you could call them, or, or more people became interested in it. And with more demand, uh, obviously we see the price go up if the supply remains the same. That's sort of general supply and demand there. So if that happens again in the future, if we go into a recession, which is possible that could happen in the next few years, you know, who knows the future, and we do see people flooding into the precious metals markets, right? Because gold and silver are considered safe haven assets. We could see the media pick it up. We could see a lot more people become interested in silver and we could see a rise in the price. Now, if that happens, is your silver gonna be easier to sell or harder to sell? Uh, there is a couple factors. The first and probably the biggest factor is where are you trying to sell your silver? And also what kind of silver have you stacked? Have you been accumu accumulating over the last hopefully few years? I've been stacking for uh, going on year number three now, I guess 2020. And uh, thankfully I've been able to acquire a pretty good stack in that time, which I'm uh, very excited about. But uh, regardless, 
what kind of silver have you been stacking? Have you been stacking stuff that's easy to sell, like constitutional silver, American silver eagles, silver bars, silver coins, things like that? Or have you been acquiring more collector type pieces? Uh, so here's the way I look at it. If you have mostly collector type pieces that you are wanting to offload, you're probably going to have to offload those individually. That is going to be a big hassle trying to sell a whole bunch of items either on eBay or a private party. Now, if you take those into a local coin shop, a bullion dealer, something of that sort, you're probably going to get a lot less than what you're hoping for because those places aren't necessarily interested in the collector items. They're interested in the silver, right? A bullion dealer wants to buy your silver coins for the silver content. So if you've stacked things like that, that could be a, sort of a hassle. Um, now, if you've stacked like I have and focused very heavily on silver coins, American silver eagles or generic silver, constitutional silver, stuff like that, that's going to be much easier to offload to a bullion dealer. So my strategy for selling my silver, if I want to, is actually to go to my local coin shop. Now, I have talked to my local coin shop about silver, what they like to buy, and their favorite thing to buy is the American silver eagle. These are the most liquid silver bullion coin in the whole world. There's a ton of demand for them, especially here in the United States. And so they'll pay me a dollar over spot for my eagles. So if the price of silver increases, even substantially, I think that especially if the reason for it going up is because we see new demand for silver, either from uh, private investors or if even uh, we see nations starting to buy silver and, and have silver stockpiles like they have in the past, then I think it'll be very easy to offload my American Silver Eagles. If we go all the way back to 2011, uh, I talked to my local coin shop, the owner, Dennis, and he was telling me that they had no problem selling eagles. In fact, they couldn't keep them on the shelves. There was a lot of people that were wanting to buy these. There was a lot of media attention, of course, about gold and silver. Lots of new people coming into the world of precious metals who didn't know about precious metals before. And they were willing to spend that $50 on an American silver eagle because they never knew a $14 or a, a $6 American silver eagle, right? I feel like uh, I feel very privileged to have been able to buy American Silver Eagles for under seventeen dollars last year, right? Um, now they're obviously cost a little bit more. The spot price of silver has gone up, but I'm still stacking them, right? Under twenty dollars, I think, is a still a great buy for eagles and other types of silver as well. So if your strategy is to offload to your local coin shop and you have lots of bullion pieces, uh, lots of stuff that is going to be easy to sell, then I don't think you'll have a problem selling it if the price of silver increases. Now, what if the price of silver goes up a moonshot? This is something that I don't usually talk about in my videos, but because I'm talking about the price of silver going up, Obviously, I need to bring up the fact that there's a lot of people that think the price of silver could go up a lot, not just to $50 an ounce or $100 an ounce, but something crazy, right? Like $500 or $1,000 for an ounce of silver. Now, I think that for that to happen, this would be a end of the world situation, right? SHTF. That's why a lot of people stack for stuff hitting the fan, <laughs> so to speak. And so if you're one of those stackers, and you're stacking for the end of the world, for a uh, currency collapse, right? For uh, blood in the streets, and you want to have a currency, or you want to have real money, rather, when our currency fails, then I don't think you would have any trouble offloading your silver. I think that you would have stacked it for that reason. You want to use it to barter and whatnot. And I think that that shouldn't be an issue for you. So if you're one of those stackers, if you're stacking more as a prepper and, and whatnot, I think you should have no problem offloading it if the price goes up extremely high in the future. This is one thing that I don't talk about a lot of my videos, but honestly, there are a lot of people that do stack silver for that reason. The most common reason I think people stack silver is for a savings account. They realize that keeping money in... Uh, fiat currency is a terrible idea because of inflation so they'd rather put their money in something like silver or gold and use this to store their wealth that's why i stack silver and uh so i think for us if the price of silver goes up to uh you know 50 or 100 dollars, one thing you'd have to consider is do i want to sell but if you do 
I honestly think if your strategy is to offload to someplace like a local bullion dealer or even an online bullion dealer, I don't think you will have a hard time. Now, I think one thing that might be true is right now, for instance, I get $1 over spot for my American Silver Eagles. If we see the price of silver go up to $50 an ounce, will I still get $1 over spot for my Eagles? I'm not sure. Um, I actually kind of doubt it. I think I would probably get somewhere around spot or maybe even a little under spot, but I think I would still get much more value for these as opposed to uh, generic bars or generic rounds because these are so liquid. There's so much demand for these. I think that my local coin shop would happily take them off my hands because they could turn around and sell them in the next 10 minutes. So anyway, those are my thoughts. I know there's a lot of people out there that have different thoughts and opinions on the subject. I'd love to hear uh, what you think. So please leave a comment down below. I always reply to the comments. Sometimes it takes me about a week or so, but I try and go through them all. I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video, and I do want to see you all in my next one. So make sure to subscribe, and I'll end this the way I end all my videos. Silver Dragons out.